guys, and welcome back to another episode of Federico Talks Watches. Today, I want to show you three watches that have come across my desk recently at DelrayWatch.com that I think are highly underappreciated and maybe a little quirky. We're going to start with this one. Now, before we get started, though, if you guys want to see any of these watches and their pricing, go check out DelrayWatch.com, link in the description below. Here, we have a Pierre Kuhn's Double Retrograde Tahitian Moon Phase. That is a mouthful. And actually, this is a very interesting brand. Uh, owned by the Frank Mueller Group, this 43 millimeter stainless steel watch has a double retrograde for the time. As you can see, minutes flick, and then the hours go forward. I'm trying to move my fat hand so you guys can see it. That is very cool. And you can see the double retrograde mechanism there and a moon phase at six o'clock, which actually has a very beautifully adorned um, star motif made out of a Tahitian mother of pearl. Now guys, maybe you didn't know this, but um, you know, unfortunately, you know, Roger Dubuis unfortunately uh, passed away a few years ago, but before he had a brand of his namesake and before he worked for Patek Philippe, I don't know if it was before or after, he worked for Frank Mueller and he invented this double retrograde system, which is used in their perpetual calendars, uh, in the Roger Dubuis perpetual calendars, which are now so collectible. This is based off of uh, an ETA 2892, highly decorated, but it has the Dubuis double retrograde system, which is, you can see through the skeletonized dial and the moon phase. You can also see the ratcheting action here on the side, which is very interesting. 43 millimeter watch that pusher there is for the moon phase uh, on a deployant or well, actually excuse me not a deployant on a tang clasp that is signed this is a ton of you know horology for the money retail price over fifteen thousand dollars in its era now i believe it's less than half of that we're selling for full box full papers and you not only get the moon phase but a roger dubuis double retrograde system skeletonized dial and on top of that, uh, a very well-finished uh, movement. Pierre Coons, a very small brand, probably makes less than six or 700 watches a year. Not everybody's heard of them, but if you are a horology lover, uh, then this is a fantastic way to get uh, a ton of value for your horological dollar. Now, moving along to one of my favorite watches of all time, that is the Mont Blanc Orbis Terrarum. Yes, Mont Blanc the pen maker, who actually has been making some fantastic watches for the past 10 years. Uh, they've purchased the Minerva factory, which by the way, I have a special Mont Blanc coming very soon to the site. Uh, and they're making a big push into the watch space. After all, they are owned by Richemont, who owns Vacheron Constantin, Alain Gonzona, Cartier, uh, Piaget, amongst others. And this, their Orbis Terrarum, is their world time. 40 millimeters built on an SW300 Salida, but with a fully in-house uh, world time mechanism. So as you can see, you've got the world time on the edge. And with this button, you can see the time changes. And actually, the map gets lighter and darker for AM, PM, where it shows you where the uh, where it's dark and it and you know where it's night and sun excuse me i'm having uh trouble speaking today i also like it because there's depth it's very hard to gauge here but that white and black plate is actually three dimensional and the action is extremely crisp this does come on a deploying clasp it is a highly decorated once again at a, a salida movement rather with a touch of in-house pizzazz here you have a true world timer with a single push piece button for a fraction of of the price of what they usually go for on the market. I mean, the Patek Philippe's are about $25,000. I think uh, this one is about 15% of that total price. Don't let the name fool you. This is also a fantastic value out there. And actually, I'm thinking of picking one of these up myself for the perfect travel watch. This is the Mont Blanc Orbis Terrarum. Now we move on to probably um, the simplest but most interesting of the three, 
and this is the Vacheron Constantin Historique Toledo, uh, a watch which has a hand, <laughs> a mouthful of a name, uh, and is time only with date, but is hiding a lot of interesting intricacies. A dress watch, once again, with a white gold deploy buckle and a white gold case. Here we have a hand guilloched dial and these teardrop lugs, as you can see, multifaceted. Actually, the Italian watch collectors have nicknamed this watch the Cioccolatone, which basically means um, the, the little chocolate, uh, simply because of that melted uh, lug structure. Now, this is a uh, remake of one of their historical pieces, hence why it's in the History Collection, and it houses a highly decorated JLC movement. Close case back, which is fine because you just get more white gold that way. Actually, a watch with a lot of heft. I love the detail, the raised Roman numerals, the pyramid-shaped uh, hour markers made entirely in white gold, that railroad track, the silver second hand. Um, it's just a watch with a ton of personality. And actually, even though it is small on my rather large seven and three quarter inch wrist, it wears perfectly as a dress watch. If you're a fan of Art Deco, if you're a fan of the Holy Trinity, if you want a piece that was made in extremely limited quantities and that is well under $10,000, nowhere near $10,000, then you should check out the Vacheron Constantin Historique Toledo, a watch which really does go under the radar, but collectors um, are starting to smarten up. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. The Vacheron Constantin, the Pierre Coons, and the Montblanc Orbis Terrarum, all available at delraywatch.com, link in the description below.